C++ is one of the most powerful programming languages ever created, but is it really worth learning? Some people say it's outdated, others say it's too hard. But what's the truth? Stay till the end, because what I'm about to reveal might change the way you think about C++ forever. First, let's talk about why C++ is still untouchable in the world of programming. C++ powers things you use every single day, even if you don't realize it. Windows, C++, Unreal Engine, C++, Tesla's self-driving software, C++, stock market trading algorithms, C++. Even Google and Facebook use C++ for their high-performance systems. The reason? Speed and control. No other language gives programmers this much power over how their code runs. So if you want to work on cutting-edge technology, C++ is a must-know language. But here's where things get interesting. C++ is not for the faint of heart. Unlike Python or JavaScript, C++ makes you do the hard work. Memory management, you handle it. Pointers, you better understand them. One small mistake, crash. This is why beginners struggle with C++. It forces you to think like a computer, not just a coder. That's why many people quit learning it. But here's the interesting part. The harder something is, the fewer people can do it. And when fewer people can do something, the ones who master it become extremely valuable. Now, let's bust some myths that people keep spreading about C++. Myth 1. C++ is dead. Reality. C++ is still one of the top five most used languages in the world. Myth 2. C++ is only for old systems. Reality. Even modern AI and robotics companies like OpenAI and SpaceX use C++. So where is C++ headed in the future? Well, here's something most people don't know. G++ is playing a big role in AI game development and cybersecurity. Companies like NVIDIA use C++ to optimize AI performance. Game studios use C++ to push graphics to the limit, and cybersecurity experts rely on C++ to analyze and prevent hacking attacks. With AI and automation growing fast, C++ will remain a critical skill in the tech world. So now the BG question, should you learn C++? If you want to build game engines, operating systems, or robotics, yes. If you just want to do web development or simple automation, Python or JavaScript might be better. But here's the bottom line. If you master C++, you will never be out of a job. C++ is not for everyone. But for those who learn it, the rewards are massive. So what do you think? Is C++ worth learning in 2025? Drop a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more mind-blowing tech insights.